Welcome and thank you for checking out this part three of our bathroom upgrade. If you didn't see the first two, you can uh, go ahead and watch those. I'll probably put a link to, the, uh, to those videos in the description below. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this part three and here we go. All right, now on to everybody's favorite part, the toilet. Okay. So, <clears throat> went ahead and got this, it's like, oh, better than wax or something like that. Um, I've used this before and I, uh, they seem to work pretty well. Um, if you get the wax ring, the ones that come with the toilet don't always aren't always the best thickness. You may have to double them up. Um, but with ours, because we're above the uh, level of the floor, I don't need this little spacer that comes with it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. bolts sticking up? No. No? Oh, that one. Yeah. So your your bolt is gonna go into that uh, one. Okay. Wait, can you see that one? You've lined up? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool, thank you. Do you think? Alright, so we're gonna be doing the same thing to both sides. Got this lined up pretty. Actually, I'm gonna slide it over to that way just a smidge. This is the only time where you are gonna be okay putting your head this close to your toilet unless you're sick and vomiting or something, but even then. Okay. Lined up. So these will say this side up. We'll do the same thing on both sides. Yes. Side up. Sometimes they have a little groove in there that they'll fit into those little slots. My oldest daughter is in here with me. If you watch the outtakes, I will put our conversation <laughs> into the outtakes. And these are just gonna snug. We're not gonna like wrench them down. Even though I'm using a wrench. So I have seen where people will take caulking and put caulking around here, but you don't wanna do that because if for some reason you do have a leak in your toilet, and it's going into your floor, that caulking will keep it from seeping out from under the toilet. And if it's seeping out from under the toilet, then you know you have a leak. But if you have the caulking there, it's gonna seep into the underneath your floor and you don't know you have a leak. Did you know that? No, no. you did? No. Oh, okay. I also wanna make sure. I'm just trying to sound smart. I know. Well, you are smart. And then we'll put these in. 
I'll cinch them down once we get the tank in there and make sure that I got gypped one nut and one washer off of this. So the good thing is, is I found some to use. So this little, I don't know, rubber or whatever that is, it's like a foam thing goes on there. Oh dear. Same thing on the back. We're not going to torque it down at all. We're just bolting it in so that it, you know, it doesn't move. And now's the time. This is why I didn't cinch those down. Probably going to loosen them up a little bit here and just change the angle of the toilet a little, a little bit. You don't want to move it too much because you don't want the, you've got the wax ring or the the little seal on there and you don't want to have that torqued and come off of there. That would be bad for everybody. Alright, then we're going to just hook up our supply line here. Hopefully. As long as we don't run into any other surprises. I needed to adjust the float, I would, but it doesn't look like I do. Well, the lid's not going to push. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now that's a soft closed lid. I find a um, screw that'll fit just right in the hole that I've made. You know, find that it works pr better at preserving it than putting a nail in there or something else or those little caps that come with them sometimes. Those don't work. I um, guess we're gonna work on starting to put the faucet in here. So we just got a little glacier bay. When you put these on, the crested part goes to the back.
So I went and picked up, or when we got all this stuff, I got 20 inch um, supply hoses and they were like two inches too short. So now I'm gonna be long, um, but it is what it is. thing has this quick connect attachment just goes under there and those are just get quick connected so just a little we'll see and this screws in from the bottom So we have a little offset here, um, but the problem is that I went to get some stuff because I was going to use the old, I was going to use the old plumbing, but the old plumbing was very not good. Um, so decided to get some new stuff, but I didn't, kind of forgot that I had to drop down a little further. So the issue that we have is because this is high, this is gonna be so high. I don't know if you can see that. So I gotta go get an extension here. But I've got a couple issues. So I just, I picked up this little kit here um, and I've got my compression fitting set back here. Got this hooked up together, and yada, yada, yada. As you see, I have this issue. I have an issue of getting text messages while I'm trying to record. All right. So, you know, they had a kit that has these three pieces in them. And I almost picked it up and I was like, oh, I don't need that. And I should have known because I have had to use this before on a different old house. So, we're going to make this work. Way too much work for that part. So let's turn everything on and test it out. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of caulking around the around these.
So sometimes these will get a little um, stripped. And if they do, a little trick is just take a golf tee, put some wood glue on there, tap it in. When it dries, just cut it and then you can drill into it and attach a new one. So I'm going to be putting the mirror up, um, but I'm going to be using these drywall anchors. These are the best type to use. I think, in my opinion, all those other ones kind of suck. Um, but I can't really go through the, the wood here. So what I have is just a half inch bit, and I'm just going to go right just through the, the wood here. I've got my spots barked and everything. I'm just going to go through this. What do you think? So we've done a couple other things too. We put up the uh, towel rod, the towel holder, the a new curtain rod, and toilet paper holder. 
I just pointed to it, but you guys all can't see it. Um, so I've got to figure out what to do around this edge here because the old um, vanity came out a little bit further and we got the floor here. We didn't want to tear up the floor, so I'm just going to put a little border around there. Just give it a nice, I guess, a little... Um, it gives it a nice little look. So I took my nice um, little shaping or my um, matching shape matching tool, I don't know, whatever it's called, um, and I just pushed it up against there, um, got the got the shape, and then cut this out on the bandsaw. So that way I get a nice flush uh, fit back there. But if you see, I've got, I don't know if you can see it very well, I've got a gap right up top here because this little piece of particle board is sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna take my flush cut saw. If you don't have one of these, they're great. Um, so I'm just gonna, I might have to start from a weird angle here. but. Uh, just put my arm right where y'all can't see. Alright, so we got a, ourselves a nice flush mount there. Well, you can probably see it. So now, I'm going to get this marked before cutting. those down painted that up put it here I think it looks pretty decent I don't know you get the whole thing over there and just run some caulking along here I just use a glove to run my finger across. Um, I don't know. I think especially with silicone, I'm gonna do that. Um, but the key is not to push on it too much. You just just using your finger just to smooth the whole thing over. You shouldn't have a big globular mess on your finger when you're done. All right, so there it is, a basic bathroom upgrade that was supposed to start as a, uh, just a simple toilet replacement. But um, yeah, so this is the final product and thank you for watching. So I normally have two batteries, and I just go back and forth. The other one's on the charger. What am I doing? Which one am I doing? Wait.
Are you still recording? I thought I turned you off. Did I never turn you on? Oh dear. Really? Cedar, come here. Come here. This is my cedar. This is my cedar. Cedar. Well, that goes in the outtakes. Looks like Santa's buried there, huh? They are gonna see my butt, though. You think that's really a whole small hole? What? The small hole. It's a toilet. But the other one was big. Was it? And, yeah. And that one's really small. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It might get oh. This one might get clogged more. You know I'm recording, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even toilets are getting fancier. Problem, kitty kitty, is I don't know that our drain's gonna 